Hello, everyone. Now, today, I am going to be doing a score review on the Mega Man Legacy Collection, Rockman 3, Dr. Wily no Saigo. Uh, I believe, from what I understood from looking it up, it roughly translates to Dr. Wily's conclusion, or the end of Dr. Wily, something like that. And... This is the third game in the Rockman series. If you've played any of the Mega Man games, it is the Japanese version slash original canon version of uh, the Mega Man series. Now, this one has a lot of, uh, some differences compared to the Mega Man one. But I'll get into that as I'm covering the walkthrough. Now, this particular game... What? Or this game. Not this particular game, but this game was... Uh, originally, it was developed by Capcom and published by Capcom. But now, this version of it, the uh, Pigman Legacy Collection, was developed by Digital Eclipse and published by Capcom. And all in all, uh, I believe Digital Eclipse did a pretty good job on this collection. Now, I judge here, or I score a game based on five different categories. The story, the graphics, the music and sound effects, the gameplay and mechanics, and the uh, achievements. Now, for the story, uh, unlike the first one, um, this one actually has two parts in the game where there's story, which is the approximately two-thirds of the way through the game when Wily stops helping Dr. Wright. Yes, his name is Dr. Wright in this one. Uh, it, it's only Dr. Light if you play the Mega Man series. So, he, he, there's a story cut scene when it... Dr. Wily stops helping Dr. Wright, and then there's one at the end of the game. So there's not a whole lot, and unfortunately, none of it was translated as the first, like the first one was, so none of that's readable. The only thing that's translated on this one is the ending credits. Not even the flipbook for the Mega Man or the Rockman One Robots is in English, so the only thing that you'll be able to see in English is the the current robot masters of Rockman Three and the credits. So there's that. Now the story itself, unfortunately, I couldn't read it, so I can't really judge it. But I know there isn't much difference between Rockman and Mega Man storyline uh, for this game. So there's not a whole lot to really oh, excuse me, differentiate. Now for the graphics, as I've said with every Rockman and Mega Man game, if you like pixelated graphics, this game still looks and holds up very well in that department. Especially considering that this game came out and I think it was either it was either like late eighties or early nineties. So, I mean to me it still looks great. It, well, I'm not going to say it looks better than the Super Nintendo version, but I do believe that it holds up better than the PlayStation, Mega Man, and Rockman 8 game, so the graphics are still pretty good. Now, for the music and sound effects, as with every Mega Man and Rockman game I've played so far, the music is superb, hands down, great music soundtracks, the composer has always done a bang up job with these, and the sound effects, as I have always said, the classic Mega Man sound effects of running, jumping, like menu, and stuff like that, all sounds great, still holds up, 
you'll still be able to tell to this day like what those sound effects are without even having to look at it much. The gameplay and controls now. Hmm. Or sorry, uh, gameplay and mechanics. The uh, gameplay is your stereotypical action, action platformer shooter. There's running, there's jumping. Now, for the mechanics, this Rockman game did two things that were a little different. For Mega Man himself, they introduced the slide, which was new to this one. And they also added the max number of nine E-tanks. I got way more than nine playing through the game. And in this one, they also incorporated Rush for the first time, which included Rush Coil, Rush Marine, Rush Jet. The coil is useful throughout the game. Uh, Marine is <laughs> only usable in like three stages, so it's not really that great. Rush Jet is just so OP and broken, it's not even funny. I believe the English version, it runs its energy even when you're not riding on it and it's on the field, but in the Rockman version, it does not use energy. Now, something else I noticed about this game was, I, now I didn't notice everything that was differences between Rockman 3 and Mega Man 3, but big notice was Doc Robot stage for I think it was Gemini Man where you face off against Flash Man he flashes briefly and shoots one shot and it's really fast and he doesn't frequently versus the Mega Man 3 version which he freezes screen for a few seconds and shoots a barrage so the Mega Man 3 version is a bit tougher because it's more likely you'll get hit by the shot and I think it was the first stage of Dr. Wilder's castle right before you fight the boss in the room there's a like a re upside down t-shaped platform that has two of these energy things on them and it's right in the middle of the screen and in the Mega Man 3 version that's removed and it's actually on a ledge up in the upper right corner of the room now I had to do some research but I heard that change was because sometimes when Mega Man's teleporting in he gets stuck in it so, so I'm not 100% sure on what all's with that and the last thing is as with the Mega Man franchise and the Rock Man, it doesn't matter which one you play. The you get the achievement either way. Um, it's just beat either Mega Man 3 or Rock Man 3, and you get the achievement. And then the second one is beat all the games um, that are on this collection. So Mega Man 1 through 6 or Rock Man 1 through 6 or any combination of them. I've already defeated or played through all the 6 Mega Man games so I've already got the achievement. Now a couple of side notes that I did notice. The biggest thing I noticed was and I highly recommend it. If you are playing the Mega Man Leg Legacy Collection and you're on Mega Man or Rock Man 3 Play Rockman 3 over Mega Man 3. I'm not saying it's better or anything, but the input lag is severely reduced. Only had a couple of instances of having issues turning and firing like I did in 3. I had to replay the stages in 3 so many times because of the um, input lag. Whereas this one, I kind of breezed through it. Heck, even the stage I had the hardest time on, Dogman Robots for Shadow Man stage. I got through in like two or three tries, solely because 
bad RNG for health, as is to be expected. And a gripe, which was something that I was hoping had been changed on the Rockman, or that was originally on Rockman side and was changed on the Mega Man side. There is not a complete circle of bosses that you can fight. This is, out of all the ones on the collection, the only Mega Man that you can't do a complete circle around with weaknesses without having to use your Mega Buster again. In this one, you have Top Man Beats, Shadow Man, Shadow Man Beats, Spark Man, Spark Man Beats, Magnet Man, Magnet Man Beats, Hard Man, and then you have to go to either Mega Buster or a secondary weakness to fight. Uh, either Snake Man, Gemini Man, or Needle Man, which I did Snake Man, and after you beat Snake Man, then it's Gemini Man, then Needle Man. So, that to me was a big oof on their part. I also enjoyed the Dark Robot encounters. It was something that I thought was a nice take in this game that none of the other Mega Man games had a refight of like previous bosses from a previous game. None of the other of the original six have that. And and of course, uh, as with all standard Wily procedures, there's a second Wily fate or stage after you beat the initial one. I believe six. It's either five and six or just six. It's either one or both of them. There's only one Wily final boss stage. I want to say it was just six. So, as I said before, this this game's overall great. If you got the make uh, the Legacy Collection, I highly recommend either the Mega Man 3 or Rockman 3. In this particular collection, I do recommend uh, Rockman over the Mega Man because of the input issue. The uh, the story, you know, it, it's okay. If you can read it, then read the Japanese version. It's more canon. Uh, the the, gra the graphics, you know, as for this old pixel style game, it, it looks good. And for the music and sound effects are still <clears throat> uh, stellar, great to listen to. The gameplay controls with the addition of the few things and the additional content in the game, it's an overall decent job. And the achievement, it's simple. Honestly, there should have been more achievements tied around the uh, actual story, not the challenge mode. So, overall, the, the Rockman 3 version of this game, not the Mega Man, but the Rockman 3, I'm actually scoring a 7 out of 10. I did enjoy this one a whole lot more than the Mega Man 3. Which I believe I gave a six, all because the input lag made the game so much more bearable and fun. So seven out of ten. I'll see you guys in the next one.